Welcome to Factorio. My name is Nilas and this is a brand new Let's Play here on my YouTube channel. So uh, I know that some of you have been waiting for a long time. That's several months for me just having a, um, a, a taking a bit of break from YouTube Let's Plays. But I did that because I did not have a good idea. And now I think I have a good idea and that's what I'm going to be presenting to you. So first of all, if you just want to get the gameplay and you don't want to watch all of the introduction where I just uh, build the map, then look in the progress bar and there should be an indicator where the actual gameplay starts. So you might be a bit lost about what, why and how we're playing this, but if you want to skip, then by all means. So this series is going to call be called Base in a Book. There is already a Base in a Book series uh, in my uh, repertoire, you could say. And the reason why I am going to... Oh, uh, let's do that one and that one. Uh, the reason why I'm returning to this Base in a Book concept is because it's, it's an old base of mine that's super outdated, but a lot of people are still using it. A lot of people have been asking for updates on it. And I, I've been I'm thinking like... Well, I do have my masterclass, but maybe if you want to go all in, then let's go really all in on this and really make a base in a book so that it'll be, I'll build a really nice and structured base that can be easily upgraded. It'll have city blocks, it'll have a main boss, it'll have trains, it'll have robots. And that will, I'll be saving the blueprints for specific city blocks so that you can just stamp it down and roll out your base if that is what you want. So this will serve as inspiration for new players. If you want to, build a base and you really don't have this structure, then you can just adopt the structure into it and you can say that it's basically a paint by color, paint by number, yeah, paint by color, paint by number. So you could, <clears throat> you have my suggestion, of course, it depends on what map you choose. This is what we're working on right now. But for the more experienced players, it also serves as Maybe you'll learn something in terms of how the structure of this base is going to be built. But if nothing else, if you want to build a mega base, but you really don't want to build a starter base, then this series will give you a full blueprint book that you can stamp down. And then with that, you will have a nice base that produces everything you want, produces a bit of science, and then you can start working on a mega base from there. That's actually something that's really neat because I, I don't think that exists around here. In terms of resources, the map exchange string and the blueprints are all available in the description below. If you want to have the save games, that is something I reserve for my Patreon supporters and they're available through Discord. Let's have a look at the map settings. So I want to start with the real world. I found this map. This is a, it has what I need. What am I looking for here is a clumped up resource patch here. And of course, looking at oil somewhere. And I want sort of like a big area here that I can build my base. So I think I like this one, but there are some things that I'm like, I don't like this brown surrounding. So we are <clears throat> obviously going to take out cliffs because I absolutely hate cliffs. Uh, you can leave them in if you want. And on enemies, that's fine, but I'm going to give myself a bit bigger starter base because uh, I need to spread out. And I just don't want, to, I want to be broken mainly on building. And you might say this is kind of not really super challenging, but it's... Um, it is, uh, it's It's going to still present a few challenges and we do need to make some protection here. After the game, we are going to this one, research queue. I really want it to always be there. And that's going to be the resource settings. That is it. And before we press this magical button here to get started, then I just want to say that this series is going to be, we'll just press it anyway. Uh, this series will be used by Masterclass Blueprints. So it's going to be very similar to the Let's Start Automating. And you can, of course, find all the Masterclass Blueprints in a pastebin link or in from my Discord. So I would encourage you to follow on the Discord. I'm going to pick these up before and not blow up. Thank you very much. Uh, that means some of the things will be slightly, well, you, you should already know what they look like. And oh, 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 more important thing, color purple. Boom. There you go. Very important. Uh, I'm going to set these down here, and this one down here, and this one down there, and I am going to get just a few more here. So the beginning is kind of tedious, to be honest. Uh, I think I want to build like a line over here or something to that effect. This one, and then I have all of three. There we go. And then what you will see in this map is that I have nothing, no stones at all. So I have to start chopping down these stones, which is going to be super tedious. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to skip, make some skips when something we want to display is actually pretty trivial, such as laying the path, or 
build new city blocks or maybe later on solar panels but in the beginning stuff like chop chop hack away some stone and get the first bits up and running i'm going to take these two and get that one and here so even at this point i can go yeah and now i have that and then i need to get some more more trees to chop down and that will be the next part so this is going to be a lot of chopping simulator which is super unfun so let's uh have a look when we've built the stuff let me just build that for four hours first and now we've progressed a bit further i've set up some of the things and we're almost done to ready to set up some more things i'll just show you what i've done i have set up i have set up some copper here i set up some stone builds and that will just continue i set up some coal build here that we can just harvest 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 and harvest here and these two as well and sometimes they will fall out and oh that's kind of and we'll just use a blueprint and take this one not that it really matters but it's just gonna be easy i always build way more of these than most people do so <laughs> that's uh that's one thing one thing to be in my keep in mind i'll do that one and then i'll do the inner ones the miners always take way more power so there we go now we have the setup that i want to make uh, the reason why i did build this bigger is because then i mean it's pretty easy to manage and i can yeah i can do it i'll i'll build this one two three four one two three four five six seven eight and an awful lot of these because we can and then even more of this and also some power lines great so we are going to go up here but this is where things get a bit weird because i'm actually going to take a blueprint that is somehow disappeared from my uh blueprint book damn it okay we're gonna take it uh we're gonna take this one this one this one and uh, this is our city block build but i am actually going to do a new copy of it that i'm gonna put in here so i'm gonna have a copy of it i am going to remove this remove this i'm gonna remove these i'm gonna remove this and i'm also gonna remove these in here but what i'm going to retain is the setup except that it still has these weird bad designs in the corners i can fix that myself so the idea here is we are going to have to make a city block pattern and this is linked to the grid and i want to stamp this down so that i know what i'm what i'm working on so i'll have this one this part here being mainly for our mining our, our mining operation this one will be for power and then i'm going to build one over here which will be where we build our jumpstart base so i can't build anything here but i can at least sort of get a sense of what it will look like i can then make make this part actually i want to make this as a as a ghostly thing a proper ghostly thing and i should have some power poles as well as uh, soon as you have some power poles, do i have some more wood yeah i think i need just a few more just a bit more wood just to get this up and running also i only have 40 power so that's kind of a thing and we'll just get a few more so we can get a few more power poles there but that's time for us to get the power sorted and then we can figure out from there move on from there and let's see i still don't have the power oh there they can here they come they are going to live here and that'll be that one that one Oh, also don't have any inserters and maybe a few boxes. So let's get some inserters built here and they'll be. So this is going to be my design. I want to build it. And if I can't build it like this, I'm going to get a one up and then I'm going to get it sort of as far in, but still have it connection. Yet. Yep. And then I'm going to reverse it. I'm going to have a line in here and this one. Let's see. It'll just fit in here. That's perfect. That is, I think, exactly how I want it. And I don't want to build this, though. But I just want to make sure that I have room for it. But I do want to build this part. So, build this part. And we can use it to extrapolate it. And also what I need is a few of these. Boom. Boom. And then we have also here. We're going to get some... This might seem a bit silly that I do this, but you know, there's going to be a path at this point and I don't really want to interrupt my power line just 
for making things change and I will have one here. So of course you can't copy this exactly unless you have the same build, but the idea should be the same that you want to have a design that is, I would call it robust in this case, that you, um, you can copy this and build it in your own place. I would say just reserve this for power at this point, by the time we're going to need this for something else, it will uh, will also not need the power anymore. And I love the fact that I have. Yep. And this is a good moment to talk a bit about the mods I have, like that one. You can see it's spread out evenly. It is distributed evenly. That is a mod called Even Distribution. That's super awesome. The fact that I can run through this is called Squeak Through. I'm adding these kind of mods. I also have one that makes me, allows me to actually drive in a straight line. Yay! <laughs> called Vehicle Snap. But aside from that, it's nothing that changes the gameplay, but exclusively so that I can... It's sort of those convenience mods that I've just... You can say that I've gotten used to it, but also it's, it's just really nice to have. All right, so things have been, uh, we've now gotten power. We have power line down here. We're going to use that power line. We're going to start by just harvesting all of this beautiful thing here. Look at how amazing that is. Gives us, now we are, we've scaled up there. And let's see if anyone turns red. Nope, they don't. Again here. I just fill these up and uh, this one I don't have very much in terms of copper because we don't really need a lot of copper it's only needed for power poles and green circuits and we don't need a lot of those so the first the next thing we want to build is now I use my blueprints from the jumpstart base so if you want to use that feel free and uh, that's basically where we can uh, let's see that one that's uh, where do we want oh I don't want to build it here this one is just serving so that we can we can make something nice here. I think I'll build it at this point. That seems like a good location. So now my objective is to build this thing. I'll start the very first research. And that means we are going to get a lot of things uh, built here. I will need to build this. I will also, uh, maybe I also need to build some electric mining drills. Yep. Uh, just to get the initial, the initial power line, our initial coal line up to the power. So we have automated our power right now. I have to run all the way up there and it's kind of far away. So I don't want to run up there many times. So I think it's worthwhile for us to make one, two, three, four, five, six of those. And that should be a good location for us to do that. That will be built over here. I'll just take this out for now. And I can take here. That will be, let's see. I think we'll build it like this. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes. And obviously we don't have any here. I don't think that's necessarily needed to do that right now, but oh, we also don't have power poles. Yeah. So let's, you know what? I am going to, uh, to build here. This one, it's going to go up to this location. Oh, we need radars. We definitely need some radars as well. Maybe also get that one just before we get attacked. Okay, so let's uh, let, let's build this part, get the power up to here so that we are, uh, we can continue on the next part. And here we have uh, sort of built this out. I decided to do this so that, uh, because there's a lot of manually crafting, just a few things here and a few things there. So we are working a bit on the science. The initial science is always, Basically, in this case, I'm focusing on that. I don't think I want to. Basically, the research we have done here is just a few getting the military and turrets and also some automation that should give us keep us pretty safe. I want to be sure that we are safe early on. We have biters all the way up there, but aside from this, we are good. I put in some radars in the corners and just drag the lines here so that we can get that. And over on this side, we are now going to get... So basically, we, we can do this and I can do there okay the next thing we want to do from this base is actually well this one should be sufficient if as long as I have the power let me just check that it is actually getting up there and they do have that power so what I want to do now is look at the next city block here and there's going to be some chop chop and some other things but this is where I want to make my jump start base so again, I'm going to take my blueprint. This is from the masterclass. So 
you might think like, ah, but you're just going to stamp down blueprints from Masterclass. There, the other side of it, the flip side of this is basically, why would I not is another way of, of saying it. Um, and and if, if I have spent a lot of time designing this and I'm really happy with the result, I don't really think there's a good reason why I wouldn't do that. I'm going to do this and then one up. I'm going to stamp this down. And this will give us sort of the big design. But what I'm going to do, though, is I'm going to take... That's going to be iron coming in. And that's going to be copper coming in. And now I'm going to delete there. But these stay here because they are real and there are no robots to take them out. And what I can then do is I can take the blueprint again. But in this case, the reduced... So this is the full one and this is the half one. But we now know exactly where the half one is supposed to be. And that's going to be here. So this is now the half one. And that's the one we have to work on building. And for that, we are going to need an awful lot of, not at all any of these, thank you very much. An awful lot of electric miners and an awful lot of furnaces and awful lot of inserters and some belts but the belts are automatically crafted so those we don't really need to worry about and this will be sort of the start of our build you can see here that one and i'm gonna get the coal in from this side so we're gonna get more coal as well here so let's build another line of coal oops Build the line of coal. Okay, and while we, uh, we're just building this, it should be pretty straightforward to build these kind of things. Then uh, I want to just mention some things about this series here. So this series is how long is it going to run? That might be one of the questions you are wondering uh, yourself. Well, how long is it going to run? Well, I want to make sure that each of these episodes are have a sponsor. And uh, that's not the usual thing. I don't do sponsorships on this channel. But in this case, well, it's actually not a, a sponsor in the sort of the traditional sense. I am basically saying that each one of these episodes will be dedicated to one of the lovely patrons who are supporting the channel. So obviously, and uh, we are going to take the higher tier patrons first. And uh, the higher tier patrons uh, <clears throat> will get an episode each. That means if you are master of the path or if you are templar of the path, the highest tiers, then you will get a, an episode for, uh, for this series. And I think that's a, that's a pretty cool way of, uh, of doing that. I'm going to make sure that this one, if I put it here, then it overlaps. So I'm going to have to put it at this point. And then I want to get it as far down as I can without overlapping with the stone. So that's going to be it. Yeah. And do I... I just used all of them. All of them. Uh, that means the first episode, this one, is going to, and maybe you saw that in the beginning, in the little corner, you will see that at every episode. Uh, the, this episode is, of course, sponsored by St. Cabbage, the patron who has been uh, supporting me the longest and the most. So, obviously, he is coming first for the first episode. So, thank you very much, St. Cabbage, for sponsoring this episode for us and also for supporting the channel for so very long. And I kind of actually want a few more of these. So that also, and that means uh, tying it in with how long the series is going to last. Well, it's going to last for as long as there are patrons uh, of the highest tiers. And if that means it's going to be very long, then this means it's going to be very long. It means that uh, we're going to be ending at some point, then so be it. And I, tell, I believe that I can, with the current patrons that are here, then I believe that I should be able to complete the base here but whether how far we transition beyond the sort of the normal base is kind of depending on well a lot of things one two three also obviously interest from me and from you on these kind of things one two three four and i'll take this i'll get a few in here and i'll steal that immediately so we can get going and let's go back and then what we're doing now is just build 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 build, build. and you can see up here now we can get the copper the iron inbound oops iron inbound here that's going to go into this build. The copper will get in here eventually, I guess. It's going to go in from here. And uh, some kind of thing like this. And I'm going to get it from... Oh, they are done. Actually, I don't think I want this one here. I think I'd rather have... Uh, yeah, I'll take this out for now. It might be a problem. And I want to make more of these. Thank you very much. 
Yeah, and they could start like that. That would probably be like the best place to do it. But, you know, copper again. You really don't need a lot of copper in the beginning. So I don't really want to build too much. Uh, you know what? I could leave the other one here. It might as well. I'm not going to use it for anything anyway. So this one, leave it here and leave that one here. A uh, biter killing will not be a particularly uh, dominant part of this series. I will be building defenses because, well, you got to build some defenses. But I'll not be sort of uh, going out and going crazy. But if you want something that is crazy difficult and challenging in that respect, well, that is where I also have a Twitch series. And this might be, while I'm, you can see, like, filling in the blanks here. Uh, always ABC, the always be crafting. Always be crafting here. If... Yeah, so <clears throat> some of you might have uh, seen my updates on what's going on in the channel and what's going on and what the series will be about. And sort of some people have at least been a bit confused about sort of thinking that this is just rehashed old content. No, it is not. But the thing is, if I am to build a base such as this, then I... Oh, I'm running out of this. And... Ooh. Uh, then I need to do some practice run. I mean, although this base might be like, hey, haven't you built this before? Yeah, I do. I have. I don't have any iron. Then um, then I do need to make sure that I have a practice run so that I know exactly what is going on and what I need to do. And for that, I will do that on Twitch. And just um, doing the same thing, that is not going to be fun. So what I'm going to do instead is... Oh, I actually did get that one. Here. <clears throat> what I'm going to do is we're going to do some design work and basically build a similar base on Twitch so that I'm going to be ahead on the Twitch episode so I can build this uh, more structured and I'll know what to do, where to build it and how it's going to look like. But then on Twitch, I'll have some interactions with the with the, yeah so with the chat so uh, you can the viewers can spawn biters and bombs and just make a, make my life an absolute misery. But it's fun. And that's going to be the challenge over on Twitch, but the base will look kind of the same. So it also means that if you kind of lose track of the of this series of the series over on Twitch, if you're following that, you can just watch the next day's episode of YouTube, and then you can see sort of the progress being built at that moment, but not not actually the part where uh, where it's going to be built specifically. I'm you can see here I am building things specifically. I'm just not the copy basting, or I'm not just. Going like and then we have everything built but there so you can see we have we are now making a good progress here this is looking good we got iron in copper in coal in the whole thing is working from now on that means i can just get my cop my iron and copper here uh, if i need it that means i can more easily keep building the stuff i need such as such as assemblers red circuits green circuits whatever red circuits probably not red circuits yet so now I need to clear this out, and that's kind of one of the things where I just do that off camera so we can clear this out. We also probably need to expand our power as we start making, getting all of this done. So that would be uh, a, a good thing to, to take a look at. So now we cleared out the forest. Yay, that was fun. You should be happy that, that you're not part of that part. <laughs> but that's the whole point, isn't it? That's the whole point of this part is that I am going to do these kind of things. Oh, someone left a tree in the middle here. Disaster. Um, that's... Uh, oh, wow. Uh, I completely forgot to make, to make some long-handed inserters. Let's bake a lot bake a lot of those. Not make, but bake them. There we go. More of those as well. And uh, yeah, so this is the jumpstart base. This is what it does. It uh, This is the first level of it. There is a masterclass for this if you're kind of in doubt of what it serves the purpose. Basically, the purpose is that until you have a real bus and a, and a proper hub upgraded, then you want to make sure that you build sort of the essentials here that you need for building the base. And that's basically what this does. It just makes you the essentials. And that's really what we're going to do here. We are going to make essentials. And there we go. That's the green circuits, uh, green science updated or green science, green science. Press that one and that one and that one. Here, there's, some of these are a bit weird. Up, oh, don't do that. There, we're gonna be building this because it'll 
help us with basically everything we want to do here. So that will give us just exactly what we need to build the rest of the base there. And it'll last us quite a while as well. So that one, that one, that one. No more complaining. Great. Now we can start. Okay, that one. We can start filling this one in. This one. And then start getting this. I'm also building all the power things we need. There. Let's build the first thing. Looking good. And that one's going to inbound. And we can now see down here. And then basically at this point, I want to just make here. Uh, do I have a lot of these? Eh, not a lot, but enough. And if you put a blueprint and then these ones will actually uh, cap out, you can still use the circuits, even though you're not reused, re research the circuits. Uh, some people would think that's cheating. I don't really care. Then you just limit it. If you really don't feel like doing this, then you can just uh, limit the boxes. I just prefer having it this way. It's a matter of pro more personal preference than anything else. All right, so these things go in, these one go out, and that one is going to be the underground belts there. That is going to be in uh, that one. And then I'm going to go all of these things here. And as you can see, this will now go into the green, green science that's on, a, on these ones, which we just researched. So. That's, oops, that's why we don't have it here. We're going to do green science. Done. And the red science here. Yeah, of course, build that ratio so you can see that. And uh, I am going to take that one. So we take only the... And look at this. I, I, I really love this part. I really love this design. It Of course, it's it's kind of because it's mine, but it's uh, it, it just it just really does what it's supposed to really, really conveniently. And we are now having this one outbound. If I put this in here, then we can suddenly get a boost of science as well. As long as it's only the red science, which is what we're getting. Still working on the red science. And now let's get all these in so we can get automatic inserters. Uh, totally not what I wanted. I wanted this one. And then I wanted to shift rotate. Yeah. Oh, we don't. Oh, we don't have any more. Oh, that's because it's at the end. Oops. Uh, we'll just do all the other stuff. This one will be the blue inserter, but we don't have that yet. Research this one and let's get these in here. I'm actually going to add an extra one because I want this one to go faster. And I think we got everything built there. They're all working or oh, this one isn't working yet. And this will be the lights. So that's also going to be good. All right, look at that. It's actually, it's all spinning, except this part is not spinning. But it will be now. And as soon as we build this, the next thing we want to do is just scale it up and build the next part. Okay, you go in here. Yep. And that will be all the boxes, all the things. Get some lights in here. Let's get more lights in here so that we can get all the beautiful lights. Lights will always belong in this corner. And as you can see, we are now having, look at how fast this base just really kicks into gear and just from immediate little start baking, making, not baking, damn it, you're not baking your things we're making. Oh, that one. Oh, is that an ethereal one? Yes, it is. Can we then get that one? Yes, we can. And then we can just basically get all the remainder here. There we go. Now we have a, this one will just keep working and all we need to do now is get some more power up and running because I'm now straining the power just a bit so we want to make sure that we have more power and protect our builds generally up here and I think this is actually done and I also definitely need more of these because they are needed for this part And then we have, we are really, really well functioning in this space. When you, when I get the jumpstart base, then I just feel so much more comfortable because now I can go out and build stuff and then know that when I come back, I'll have all the things I need. But there are still two things that I don't have in my jumpstart base that I want to get. That will be getting steel in, oops, getting steel inbound. See, that's now updated, fully upgraded. Look at the power here. 
We have vast quantities of power. Oof, it was actually kind of close. Da -da -da uh, so what we want to do is we actually just want to take the next blueprint here. And I just want to show you that. That is where... What it does is, if, you, if we can align it, it will add some steel production. It'll add another iron smelting column. It'll double the copper smelting column. And what I want to do on top of that, just because, and that's going to be out here, I want to make at this location, at this way. Look at how fast it goes. It's crazy. There. Yeah, this is going to be a bit of a mess. <laughs> because I'm going to get this stone from here, and that's going to get somehow going maybe in here uh i don't know don't want this to make stone and there we go that's dark, gone so this is making stone bricks because we need that for the mass for the path sacred path and then we need to be able to expand it as well so we have power here let's uh let's build it again now that i don't want to fill this in uh, blank as well so we're going to be i'm can i can do that and we can look at the last piece of the expansion here and things have been filled in here. This has been completed. There's a bit too much spaghetti here, but that again, this depends on how you want to look at this part. But what is uh, really important at this point is that now we can start looking outwards. And that's right now, there is nothing really structured about this. There's nothing about what we've done here that is particularly linked to anything else. That means you really don't need a lot of, of blueprints for this, but I do want to make sure that we can now go into city block based blueprinting. And what I want to do is the first blueprint I want to, to actually look at is actually going to be this one. And that's basically also how I'm going to do it uh, in the future. So if we look at it, then obviously it's going to be this part here that is the main, but there's going to be a lot of these things out here that I need to remove from the blueprints. And that's what I'm going to do. So we don't have these kind of things. So the blueprint for you will look nice and robust and sort of more modular. Because you will not have it's exactly the same base as I do. But you will have... Oh, that's funny. I can still scroll in the background. All of this has to go out. All this has to go out. So that... So that your base looks slightly different. There. We don't know how these are coming in, but we do know that a, I would recommend building such a base like this in the middle of a city block because then you have it available for later on. And again, yeah, I'm going to I'm going to clean this up so you will have this blueprint. It will have a notification and that's really where we want to to look at now. If I did I even do that. We want to now start expanding out because now we have a base, it's working, it's producing our large power poles and it's just chugging along. I did upgrade all of them to blue because, well, why not? We also have uh, boxes being made here. That's actually going to be a massive mistake. I do not want to do that. Thank you very much. I only want to have half of them being built and I might even do this one because I want more of this so I can build some sacred path out there. But I want to illustrate for you the design that I want to do because this one will all often look very much this, uh, by its own, but it, this is kind of meticulously integrated to what we actually want to do in our in our base. So I will in oh, we have to use this new way. I am going to have some place that makes makes copper smelting. That's going to be right there. Then I am going to have a place that makes iron smelting. That's going to be in this square over here. Then I'm going to make a location that makes the first thing we want on a, uh, or we want to make potentially the bus. That means I'll reserve all of this block and also the net top block. Here, this will be more busing. And I'll even go one more up, that one here. And then we'll take the first things we build off the bus. That will be green circuits. They'll be built out here. And the next one will be the hub that will be built out here. And this one will leave empty, but will be used later on for oil. And this one will be replaced and used later on for uranium processing. That's going to be the plan. So you can see here that we are building this really close and then all the other things are going to be built around it. So this is basically what we want to move on into next episode. And that's where we're going to start transitioning from our jumpstart base into a bus build that's going to be built sort of around us, but 
we will not have this one getting stuck because that's always what happens. You either build this really far away from your starting base or it's going to get stuck. We're lucky in a, a bit in this thing. We can use this copper to feed in here. I'm not really good needing it. I think I'll just take this one and we can take this iron and feed in here or this iron for that matter and feed in here. Uh, either way, I'd, eventually we are going to need trains to bring things in, but this is just basically the, the starting part. So what I'm going to do sort of uh, next time is we're going to start making the city blocks and we're going to start making the smelting columns, the bus, the branches of the bus, and maybe even the hub. I don't know. That depends on how fast, slow we can do things. I hope that you en enjoyed this weird uh, first episode and... <laughs> I hope that you want to follow it. Uh, what I can will ask you is that uh, if you like it, then hit the like button. It means a lot, especially for a first episode like this. That, oh, automobilism, we can have a car and start bumping into things. Um, yeah, it means a lot, especially for the first episode. So like, like it, comment, share it, you know the drill. Uh, it helps me get the word out that there's a new Let's Play on YouTube that uh, we're going to be playing. So I hope you want to uh, follow along. Uh, as I mentioned, I'm also doing kind of some design work for this series over on Twitch. I'm streaming it on Tuesday, Thursdays and Sundays at 8 p.m. Central European Summertime. And the address is in the description, but it's Twitch TV slash Nilaus. That's pretty intuitive. And uh, there will be a lot of biters and bombs spawning everywhere. And it's madness and it's super fun. But I'll just desperately try to do some cool designs that I can then use for the few the the next episode of this youtube series so this youtube series will be running monday wednesday friday uh, every week it'll be coming out in the afternoon european time so somewhere between four and uh, four and six p.m somewhere around that i hope you enjoyed it thank you very much for watching i'll see you guys in the next episode until then take care and you know it as always stay effective